So I'll continue where I left off. I believe this was the last one I showed you. This uh, like Camaro, I think it was 2010 Camaro. That was the last one I showed, I believe. Um, the next one here is called Spectre. I got this on a discount at a Food for Less. They do they do that quite often. A lot of times it's usually uh, Hot Wheels that were broken open or you know had a damaged card or something like that. But um, this was actually because they wanted to get rid of them, I guess. Um, well, uh, this particular casting is called Spectre. I think somewhere it says it maybe. I'm percent sure. What? Yeah, I think it's called Spectre, but I don't see the name there or if it had one. But I've seen this at stores before. Um, before I actually bought it, um, I saw one at Walmart and it was d detached. That probably happens quite often because, you know, it's so easy to m make a mistake. I'm not sure how much of an error that is, but, you know, if you were to open it, you wouldn't even notice it because you can put it back together. Next, uh, I think I showed that one, but this was the 57 Chevy. Um, I was a teenage freak from outer space. I think I showed that one. Um, yeah. Here's a Craze Clown series car. It's like a funny car. Not sure if they're going to make a whole lot of these anymore. Because most of the funny cars were all metal. <clears throat> Get a look at that. And this one I got from Goodwill, I think. Brand new, too. Okay. Next one... I believe I got from a five pack. It's a plastic body with a metal base. Um, this wasn't originally the car I wanted from the five pack. I think I got a Plymouth Superbird. It's a Camaro Z28. No, nothing special. The windows look all blacked out. Okay. The next one I believe is a 1981 or something like that. A DeLorean. If it says 1981 or just DeLorean, it just says DeLorean on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I also have one in silver or whatever color it is, but, uh, well, that one's more like the Back to the Future style, just without the, you know, the time machine part. But this one has an opening uh, back on it, I think. Yeah. And I didn't find out until, like, a few years later. I had the silver one, and then I bought this one. This was a discount car as well. Um, and... I, I don't know what I was doing, and it, I was, I guess, playing with it, and it opened, so, I'm not sure what the new one does, I think that one, I tried, and it doesn't seem to probably open, so I don't want to break it by mistake or something like that, <coughs> but it was pretty nice, next one, oh, I believe, is this one, uh, custom, must, custom 2012 Ford Mustang. In black with the white falcon tampos. Or falcon, whatever it's called. No, it's falcon. Pretty nice. Nice metal spoiler on it. Okay, next one is a PT Cruiser panel car or something. Or panel cruiser. It's called that because these back windows are uh, metal. Well, they're not there, I guess. Um, Usually these are utility vehicles, like a business might use it, you know, to go to your house and clean something, fix something, or it could be a florist or anything. Pretty much anybody that would want a vehicle like this. And it's a Maestro. Uh, <clears throat> this one, I think, was from a high pack, a uh, solar reflex, I think. Didn't really want this one. I think there was something else I wanted, and that's why I bought the five pack. Okay, the next one, I think it's called Hammerdown. Bought this at Walmart when they had a good sale. Um, I think it's all metal. Yeah, the body's metal here, and the base is metal. I think it's like a 2013 car. Another one I have, I have two of these actually. One's still in the package, but that one has a torn card on it. I don't know if I should open it or not, but... um. I think it's called Dragon Blaster, it says. I painted the teeth on there, and, uh, you know, to make it look like blood. <clears throat> Pretty nice. It'd be cooler if the body was metal. 
<coughs> the next car I got is the Shelby Cobra. This one's pretty cool. I got it from Goodwill, brand new. I also have another one. <coughs> I think I showed in my flea market videos. It's all metal. Um, the hood opens. As you can see, it opens the other way. Most cars open uh, the opposite of this. Pretty nice. Not sure what year it is though. Probably a uh, 2000s or before that or whatever. I'm not sure what this is though. If you would like to know, I could always uh, you can ask, and then I'm, you know, I can look it up on my uh, uh, computer. I, I put a description and a list of it, every car I own, so I don't accidentally buy some some duplicates or something I don't really want. But um, just put where the where you saw this. Uh, uh, the minutes and the seconds should be able to figure it out if if you want to know um, this one is bad ratitude yeah some do have the names on it and a lot of them don't unless you already know yeah. this one I bought on sale at the Kmart um, yeah this is called I think skull rider or something like that or so well it's a plastic car and uh has like this little skull like cap there. I'm not sure if they make this much anymore. Bought it at Goodwill brand new. Um they got you know these little riders, chrome riders it <coughs> it's a metal base. Okay next one here is uh I think it's a it's a sixty nine Pontiac uh, GTO. I think this was from a five pack. I think the next one is similar to another one I have in here. Um, I think I bought this from a Mustang five pack, '65 Mustang Fastback. I have the blue one from uh, 2015. Uh, it's probably in the other video. Because this is a part series. I can show you that too. But right here. I think that's the same one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one here. Uh, I think this was called a Bling's Hyperliner. Um, there is another version of this. Which is. This is a Hot Wheels original I think. Um, they, they just retooled it. And made it a little different. Um, you see these wheels here. This is like. You know what what they called spinners back in 20, uh, 2003 and 2004. Cars had these. Uh, it's close to it, but it's not exactly that. Certain cars or some people would install these uh, rims, or maybe they're called huff caps. I don't know. And they, but they would spin, so when you stop, it would continue to spin. So it looked like it was still moving the car. I think some people didn't like that because you know they were afraid that they were running through the red light or something like that. Next one's a Fiat 500 in white. Wasn't initially my favorite until like maybe later. I decided to pick one up. It was on sale when I bought it to go to. I think I like the one from 2015 a lot better. That was the one that everybody confused for a treasure hunt, or you know, I had the logo on the package someplace. Yep, it's pretty nice it's still. Next one I think is from a TV show. I don't know what it was called. Called Max Steel or something like that. I'm not sure, but I think I bought it from a Dollar Tree. I think I like this part because it felt like gunmetal. Plastic base. Looks real robotic. Next one, I think it's called Ford Escort Rally. We'll check. Uh, Escort Rally, yeah. Gold. Uh, Goodwill in a bulk packaging or something. You know those little bags. I think sometimes on the receipt it might say hard lines or something. Yeah, but it comes in those little baggies that they show. Next one I'm not 100 percent sure on the name. I know I have a couple of these. I don't know if it was called a high raker or something like that, but I'm not don't believe me on that because I'm not sure. This doesn't have a name on the base. Um I bought this used, I'm pretty sure. You know, recently when I was started collecting again. Um, this is a, a Lesney Matchbox. Uh, what's the name on it? 
I think it says hi Taylor. It's an old one. Um, it might be from set from the seventies or something like that. But I saw this at Goodwill and it was fifty cents. Good condition too. I, I think a lot of times they throw away the bad stuff, which you know they shouldn't because there are collectors that will buy them and then uh, restore them or modify them, customize them, change the paint, whatever. I've done that a few times for stuff, but I'm not really good at like tamples or stuff. I haven't really figured that much out yet. Next thing I think is called a Dodge Neon. It's got the Mopar symbols on it. Uh, I got this at Goodwill, brand new. This series I kind of liked. I bought a few cars like that. It's got a big nose on it. I think there might be a Batmobile that's similar to this. Or maybe that's from a different series along the lines of uh, this. But it's pretty cool. I don't think I have a regular neon though. But, okay, we'll go to the next one. I think it's called the Swamp Buggy. Next, not exactly sure where I bought this, but it was new when I bought it. Looks like a bug. Yeah, pretty nice though. <clears throat> Most of the cars I have here are pretty nice anyway, so. Let's see. 65 Austin minivan, I think. Bought this at a, a second hand shop. It's a Matchbox. I think the one that Hot Wheels is making right now is a 67 or something like that. It has a Go Bike Shop or something that says. <clears throat> okay, let's see. The next slot here. Bought this at Walgreens. I think it's a Corvette uh, Stingray, it says. Pretty nice. I think I like it better from the side. Maybe if it didn't have those white stripes on it, it would look pretty cool. But still good, nonetheless. I think I had this on a display shelf for a while. Pretty nice. Let's see. Next thing I have, I'm not sure on the name. It's a, I think a Barracuda. It says Cuda on the side. So. <coughs> I think it's made by Chrysler or something. You know, part of the company. It's a purple color. You know, you can look at the paint, it looks like it has two different colors on it. You know, right there. I think it looks purple, and then it looks dark. If you look at it. Okay, next one I have. Um, I think this one's a Cobra. Shelby Cobra Daytona. This one I bought secondhand. That looks pretty good, too. It didn't look like it was beat. Um, this secondhand shop is called Village Discount. You usually get cars are really beat to hell. The wheels are all messed up. And this is probably surprising because it's all in good condition. Nothing, no chips really in it. Let's see. Put those back in there. Um, next car, this is what I got from that village discount too. It's a little beat up. I think it's a color changer actually. It's a uh, hammer down again. Uh, I showed one before. This one's white. I think it may have been blue before. I don't know if I can change the color here anymore on this. Some of the new ones still, still uh, maintain the color. But it's a uh, metal base and uh, this shark part is plastic. On the next car, um, Grand Torino. 69 Ford Torino Teledic. It's not a Grand. I think they might be making one like this again, but um, it could be a different Torino. But I think it had like a, I, I don't know what the gas company is, but the new one's going to look pretty cool. I think it said 76 or something, I'm not sure anymore. <clears throat> okay, next two things are both uh, NASCAR style race cars. I'm not sure if there was a, if this was a real car at all, but it has some sponsors on there like Ziploc. So this is uh, Dexter's Laboratory. It's on Cartoon Network, I think in the 90s and 2000s. And I watched it when I was a kid. Um, it's pretty much the reason I had to buy this one. I think this probably came out in 2000, so it may have still been on then. I don't know if they make a show just like this. I think some people say uh, Big Bang Theory is kind of a ripoff. Or they may refer... You know, some people might have these characters dressed up as those guys from the show. I don't watch that, though. 
It has real rider tires or rubber tires. It's all metal as well. Um, this one's all metal and it has the tires. Um, I think there was a Happy Meal version of this. I don't think Hot Wheels makes any match... I mean, uh, not Matchbox, uh, NASCAR stuff. <coughs> anymore. Um, I think they made them in 2000s. Is when they, uh, early 2000s, like 2000, 2001, is when they made NASCAR. I don't think they make them at all. Now, the next one I got is a deep discount. It was, this one was like a $5 car. It's a Thor car. It's a character car. Got it for 99 cents. I should have gotten... I think they had a few extras left over when I went there. And I should have gotten them because I could have used them for trade for something you know, similar. It's another Corvette. I think it's like a purple with uh, blue flames. Okay. <clears throat> Next one's a Tomica. Uh, it's a uh, Type T Ford. Pretty nice. I got this at a uh, uh, Village Discount. That's what it's called. It's not really a nice uh, thrift store. You know, some of those are dingy and they get stuff thrown over. And kids throw stuff around. But the Hot Wheels and stuff, or the cars like these, are usually put by the uh, uh, display cases. Which is kind of surprising. Probably a lot of kids don't even look at these. Because they're up a little too high for them. Um, go to the next two. A Mustang. Uh, not sure. Uh, it's a 63 Mu Ford Mustang 2 concept. Something like that. I believe it may have been a five pack. Pretty nice. I think I have a whole bunch of convertibles now. <coughs> this is a Dodge Challenger drift car. I think a lot of these in this case are brand new. Um, I, I was the first person to open these. And there are only a few second hand stuff in here. But I remember buying this new, I think it may have been a Walmart. I keep track of where I buy it a lot of times. Where I buy my cars. Next one is a LaFerrari. I think this was a discount car, so it, I think the packaging was, you know, messed up. Either kids were messing with it or it, you know, fell somewhere, it's got wedged somewhere. <coughs> Pretty nice car though. Um, next one I think is uh, called Two to Go. Let me check. Two to Go. I actually have uh, the Zamac version. It's like a 2003 car or something. Or 2004 maybe. I'm not exactly sure the year. Pretty nice though. Um, metal body plastic base. <coughs> and the engine is also metal. Um, Let's see, I go with these. Yeah, nope. This car, I think, is a Camaro. It's like a NASCAR style Camaro. A race car Camaro. Um, I believe I got this at like some Hot Wheels event they had at a Toys R Us where we put this on a racetrack and it went through the loops or something. I think you had to bring your own and then they would give you one or something. But th this is what I got, I believe, if I recall. I think that may have been when I was three years old or something. I was real young when I got it. Maybe six. Um, this is a... Uh... 66 Corvette, I think it says. It's hard to see. Gold base. Pretty nice. Uh, looks like Pirate Skull and Bones samples. That may have been the series or something they had it in. Purple car, uh, other than that. Next is a Mustang Boss, uh, six, is it 65? 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I think I saw a car in real life that looked like this. Um, this one had a problem. It had uh, bent wheels and I didn't notice that until I opened it. Um, sometimes if I buy one with bent wheels, I might just keep that in the packaging in the future. Or I could trade it. I think I, the other car that I have that has bent wheels is the Great Gat Speed. So I kept that one in the package. 
I think one of them, I have two of these though. I think one of them had a uh, bad paint on the hood. Not sure if it was this one. But, uh, this, uh, camera's not showing the orange on it. There's a little more orange to it though. And there was a super for this version. And that one was like a brownish color, I think. Then orange. Next one is also a car I got, uh, at a discount. This was a character car. It was like four or five bucks. It was 99 cents when I bought it. Spider-Man. <coughs> I don't like how these are plastic and metal. You think that, you know, for the price you'd, you'd get uh, metal metal. You know, like some of those heritage ones, I guess. Okay, this one's a, uh, uh, what is it called? I think it's a Corvette, maybe. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't know exactly. If it says it or something. But it's actually from one of the Fast and Furious movies. I think I have two carded ones of these. Or it's based off the one. I'm not exactly sure. Never seen the movie that had it in. May have been a later movie. Okay, next car I got. It's a 2010 Ford Mustang GT. I'm going to hurry up. This video is already 21 minutes long. Okay. Next one. Nissan uh, Skyline. Well, this one I bought. This one I liked. I think there was a... A more recent one that was released, but I saw this at Kmart, and I actually didn't get it on sale. <coughs> I was shopping for something. I don't remember what I was looking for, but I saw this, and I couldn't pass it up. Because I really like this one. It's like a Monte Carlo, I think. Uh, it doesn't say, but I think it's a Chevy. Pretty nice. Okay, next one from that slot is... 2010 Ford Mustang GT. I think I have two of those now. Yeah. Not sure if I bought this in a five pack or a single. Sometimes I pick up Mustangs and I can't tell. Because some of them are, you know, I bought a few years ago and don't have uh, enough memory to remember which package they came out of. There you go. Okay, now we only got two left. And that's uh, this one. Which is Iron Man, gold plastic base. Same thing. I got it from <coughs> a store, grocery store, food for less, marked down for ninety nine cents. Yeah, I think they still make this. This is probably my uh, second or third favorite. Maybe my second favorite after the um, Captain America car. Yeah, last year I got a lot of clearance stuff from uh, food for less. Um, next one, I'm not, uh, yeah, here's the name, uh, Panos LMP1 Roadster S, or is that S just part of the base? Well, it's green car, um, I think it's designed after a real car, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And, uh, this one I bought at a, uh, garage sale, actually, and it was brand new, too, so no one opened it. It was, it was more of an estate sale, um. They said a dollar, and I said, okay, don't like paying more than a buck for these. You know, they're already a dollar in the store, and, you know, if they say more than what they are, you could probably find them someplace else. Yeah. Like, when I go to those toy shows and fairs and stuff, and, you know, you look look around, you get them cheaper. Some booths might have them cheaper. But, uh, that's it. Uh, that's my whole case. Um, might have a couple, like, these videos might be in segments of three. Uh, <coughs> I probably won't break this one up, um, but yeah, that's it. That's all these cars. Not exactly sure how many were in here. Um, well, this case holds a hundred, as I said in the beginning, and uh, that's it. Have a nice day. Uh, you can like, share, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want to do. Just don't leave anything rude or nasty, and uh, that's it. Okay, see you later.